Let's take a minute to look at some decimals on a number line because there will be a problem dealing with that um, on your page today. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a number line. My number line is going to go between 0 and 3. And what I'm going to do is I am going to try to place these decimal amounts onto my number line um, where I best think that they should go. So whenever you have a number line that starts with a number, and here we're going to three. So the first thing I want to do is, you know what, I want to break my number line into whole numbers that are come between zero and three. So I have one and two that I need to put here. So I'm going to make three equal parts because I'm, my total is three. So that looks pretty even for me. So this would be one and this would be two, and then we have three over here. All right. So my first decimal is zero and 25 hundredths because zero is my whole number. I know that it is not going to be greater than one. It's going to be greater than zero, but it's less than one. Now I'm going to look at my 25 hundredths. So I think as one is the same as 100 hundredths. Try to say that three times fast, 100 hundredths. One is the same as 100 hundredths. So 25 hundredths, think about a number line that went from zero to 100. Where would 25 fall? Okay, half would be right here. 25 is actually less than half. It would come somewhere between halfway and zero. So that is where 25 hundredths would go. My next number that I'm going to look at is two and 18 hundredths. Two and 18 hundredths. So I know it's greater than zero. I know it's greater than one because it's going to start with a two. So I know this number is going to come somewhere between two and three. So I want to think of this is like 200 hundredths. Okay, two is the same as 200 hundredths. Three is the same as 300 hundredths. So I'm going to think, well, two and 18 hundredths is the same as 200 and 18 hundredths. So I need to think about, well, where would 218 hundredths fall between 200 and 300, right? Again, I'm gonna kind of look, okay, here's halfway, that'd be 250 hundredths. So 218 is probably gonna be pretty close to here. Okay, my next number that I have is 85 hundredths. I can say zero in 85 hundredths. Or I can say 85 hundredths. Again, my whole number is zero. That means it's going to be less than one. It's falling in here. Think of it like 85 cents, right? I don't have a whole dollar yet. I have less than a dollar, but I have more than nothing. All right, so I'm going to think about this. Okay, halfway between zero and one. Thinking about the same as halfway between uh, zero and 100 would be 50, right? So this would be 50 hundredths. I know that 85 is greater than 50 hundredths, and it's probably a little closer to um, one than it would be to 50. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put my 85 hundredths right about here on my number line. Last number, one and 75 hundredths. One and 75 hundredths. So I know my number is gonna be greater than one, but if we don't have a two, so it's gonna be coming in between one and two. So again, think about one is the same as a hundred hundredths and two is the same as two hundred hundredths. So this number here would be like 175 hundredths. Where would that fall? Halfway between would be one and 50 hundredths, right? I know, think about dollars. I love to think about dollars and cents when I deal with decimals because it helps me think about how large and small different things are. 75 cents comes right between 50 cents and, two, and, and a dollar, right? So one and 75 hundredths is going to come right between one and 50 hundredths and two hundredths. So this is for my one. <laughs> he kind of doesn't, I'm going to draw his line. I'm going to draw his arrow up here. He comes right in there on our number line. All right. So hopefully that helps you um, work on the number line problem that you're going to have on your page today. Okay. Thinking about 
how the numbers relate to each other, where they're going to fall. Now we can, look, we have them nice and ordered in order from smallest to largest now that we put them on our number line. 